Hey everyone, it's Amateur, and today is CC Design's August release day. Now, this is the first month that I am on their design team, so I'm super excited. If you guys follow me on social medias or my blog, you may have seen some of the cards that I have made, and also that um, if you follow, make sure you guys follow CC Design's Facebook and blog and Instagram, you'll see other cards and all the other inspiration that the other designers have. I am so, so excited, and... There will be other projects with the sets that are released today that um, I'm not going to show you guys all of the sets. I'm just going to show you the, state, bleh, the set that I have used for and a few of the dies that I used to make this, this card. And this set is called Nerdy. And I use, here is the set, how freaking cute. Now this one has a set for crayons and for pencils and there's like something I left in there, probably ink. It's a crayon on the pencil, you get the glasses, all of these sentiments, and you get several faces. Uh, just a smiley face, a goofy face, a little scribble line, mustache, a bow, and there is a coordinating die. And this one is called Nerdy Outline Die, and you see them right there. So you get quite a bit of dies. It doesn't come with a magnetic sheet. I went ahead and put that on there. And I used the pencil for this one. Now, another set that I used, this is the scalloped rectangle die and you get all of these dies how awesome this one is actually a little bit bigger than the a2 size card so if you want to make most of like the the dies that you find are not um sized to the size of the a2 but i made a card and i use this size it's like it's just a little bit taller than a2 size card and that one is the scalloped rectangles i also because i made a little slider card i also use this die from this one is spinners, and there is the number. And of course, of course, I will leave a link to the store in the description and to the products that I used for this project. Now, I can actually show you the stamp because it is today. All of these items will be releasing. These uh, these items will be releasing. These are already in the store, and the other stamps as well. So this will probably post it a little bit later than than I normally do. But check out my blog; you would have seen some pictures as well. But let me show you. Oh, and I also have a full process video boop, 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 right after this. So it'll have a voiceover because it did take me a while because I had to figure out the mechanics of it. I've never made a slider card, a slider card. So I had to figure that out. But I do have that process right after this. So go ahead and check that out. You guys check out CC Designs store and my affiliate links. But here is my card. Ta-da! Oh my gosh. Okay. So of course it would be like, I feel like it would, it gets stuck. Um, I didn't do two layers of the foam, which I should have. I just thought I would get away with one of them. But this one has, here is the rectangle die. I made it look like a cardboard, kind of like a school teacher kind of situation. If you wanted to do like a little thank you card for your teacher, but it covers so many bases. This is like a little checklist. I actually made my own little note paper because I don't have, there's a die that does this. I don't have it though. But here is, I used two layers of this rectangle die to make it look like a chalkboard and to kind of give it a background. And here is where I used the little slider, this curved slider. And it moves this way. Yep. And these are the two little pencils that I colored. These are the, this one right here. I'll have the full coloring process as well. I added some little glasses because I wear glasses. And they and then die cut them with the die. But like I said, I wanted to have this kind of like a faux chalkboard kind of kind of thing. You know, so, um, kind of background for the card. So, but it does. It slides. And it comes all the way over here see totally totally cool after I fell in love with it it took me a while to figure it out because oh, I'm dropping stuff because I had to figure out the mechanics I've seen these cards being made I've just never have made one I've never made one so I had to figure that out but go ahead and stay tuned for the process video and go ahead and make sure you guys are checking out the CC design store and also subscribe to their blog so you guys can get all of the updates and also on when for the next month like for preview days if you guys comment on the facebook page you went with the preview days you get a chance to win the the stamp sets as well so go ahead and check them out oh and i totally forgot here's the inside <laughs> the inside i did the same thing made a little faux notebook paper with just a scrap piece of paper that i had left over and i just threw in another one of these little pencils right there because it's basically where you would write your name you know write a little note to your teacher or a friend that is, and I, you can interchange these sentiments because these are the sentiments that come with the stamp. I just wanted to make it look like um, 
it was a checklist and the little and truly you could put it on to wherever one if you don't want to make a slider you can just make it point to whatever one you want to use as your main sentiment for your card so thank you guys for coming by and stick around for the process video you guys check out cc design store and i will talk to you guys soon so stick around so let's get started. I'm using the Nerdy Stamp Set with Memento Black Ink, and I stamp it on Express It Copic Marker Ink Paper. Since I am using my Copics, I like to use either 110 pound cardstock or this Copic Express It paper. In my Mini Mister, I'm able to do just a bunch of them at a time because I've made several boos at the time in the past, so I decided to just make sure I had stamp extra and I can use them also on my card or future projects. I go ahead and start with the Y markers. I'm using YR15, Y17, and Y19 to start out with the darker from the outside going in towards the inner part. Now, in retrospect, I should have used, I should have not used the YR with the Y15 and Y17, but they blended okay, so I went along with it because the Y19 uh, was a little bit, a little bit brighter than I wanted it, but it still worked out. So I'm blending them in where my light source is in the center on both of on all of the pencils and I'm doing them all the same colors at the same time as opposed to doing one one image at a time that way I can have the same all of the colors out for one section and then move on to the next section basically assembly line style and here I am just going over with the Y19 to finish it to get everything to blend now as far as the eraser I started with R22 R21 and my lightest color was R20 in the center which I also used to blend in all of the other colors once again just to keep my light source in the center and I felt like it was still not dark enough so I went around and did the edges again with that R22 now the silver band is with N0, N1, and N3 I went with the darkest to the lightest and did the same things I did with the other colors this kind of made it easy for me to do several of them now I did use several of the pencils in one card but you could use just one if you want or several more as far as the wood part of the pencil, I used E50, E51, and E53 as a darker shade just to give it more of dimension as well going towards the tip of the pencil. Now some of these I went ahead and used blank, some of them I stamped faces on them. Now my favorite pen, my favorite marker is probably the zero, the, the colorless blender. When I go out of the lines, I like to use it to kind of clean up my, my image. And here I go ahead and I die cut it with the dies. And the funny thing is I have the die upside down originally. So it only cut, it cut nothing. So I went ahead and put it back in and I do die cut all of them. They're super easy. Well, these dies are awesome and perfect because the cut line is you're able to see the edge of the, the stamp so you can sh center it perfectly because I hate going to the trouble of cutting, of coloring an image and then die cutting it and it's off to the side. I hate that. But these are perfect. Now here I'm using the rectangle die, the scalloped rectangle die, and the spinners die for, for me to make this slider. I'm basically just seeing how I'm going to do it. Now, this took me a while to figure out the mechanics, but I went ahead and just ripped out a piece of, out of a uh, paper out of the composition notebook that I got the other day at Target. And I just went ahead and made sure that I cut it with the little pink line on the left to make it look like a mini notebook page. Here I am just using the quarter inch corner puncher to punch one side and on the other side this is how I made my own little ripped note paper I went ahead and just hole punched it along the entire side and then I cut little slits connecting the the punched out circles because that way it looked like I actually ripped it out of a spiral notebook because I didn't I don't have the die I have to find out who has that little die because that's a really cute cute um, die to have and makes it easier but here I am, I'm going to go ahead and then stamp all of the three sentiments. There's actually more sentiments in this stamp set. And I went ahead and just stamped them onto that. And I used the other strip of the notebook paper just to cut out a piece to put on the inside. And I did the same thing to make it a faux notebook paper. I cut out the little edge, I mean, punched out the holes and then cut little slits just randomly. They don't have to be perfect because that's how it looks when you rip it out of a notebook paper. And I didn't glue the edges down, those little edges down, because I wanted them to go ahead and make sure that um, they showed off more natural. So here I am stamping another one because what I don't show this time is that I almost finished it and then I smudged it. Great. 
So I'm using the little hearts instead of I was going to draw little boxes for each one of the items like a little note um, this little checklist but I decided to use the heart because it was super cute. Here I am just positioning the spinner uh, die to see where it would go and like I said I only adhered the notebook paper on the base of the notebook and not the ripped out part so that way if it messes up it crumples up in the envelope it'll be okay because that's how it looks when you rip it out of a notebook paper. So here I am, I'm just setting, I'm gluing the faux notebook paper onto the black part of it so I can then figure out where this spinner is going to go, this, this spinner die going to go so I can decide where the pencil is going to go. Now I do cut two layers because you want to have a base for it so it shows underneath the spinner because if not you'll have the craft base that I used. And just to hear the part that I did cut, die cut off the first one on top, I just layer them over each other and glue it, glue what's inside, what was cut out by the spinner's die onto the base of it. So that way when you layer it with the foam, it looks perfect. It's perfectly aligned. Here I am just trying to add eyes to, uh, figuring out what eyes I'm going to use to the pencil, add to the pencil. But the funny thing is at the end, I did decide to throw in an extra pencil after I did the process video and to put glasses on this little guy because I wear glasses. But here I am, I'm gluing it to another piece of cardstock just to give it a little bit of weight to the um, to the pencil. Now if you notice, I just went over with my jelly pen over on the right hand side. I went over just a tiny bit and I went ahead and just dotted it over with some white uh, gel pen ink. So I'm using these little slider things from MFT that I had. I totally forgot I had these. I was looking for some sequins and I found them. Now the back I'm act and I'm letting it dry. So now I'm just adding foam and as a piece of advice I would totally say to add two layers of this 3M foam. I only ordered I only put in one. I thought it was going to be enough, but if you do an, uh, an extra one, it slides easier. It doesn't get kind of caught in it. So it slides a lot easier. Next time I will definitely definitely add another layer just for it to slide a little bit easier. And I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to place the foam because you don't want to layer it right over it right over the opening for the slider because it will keep it from sliding. So here I am just going to align everything and check everything out to make sure that it actually worked out. Go ahead and peel back the 3M foam tape pieces and layer it. And since I had the, the piece I had die cut glued to the base, to the base layer, it was m so easy to line up. So here I am just having trouble making it slide because like I said, I did only do it once. So I kind of pushed up, pulled up the paper a little bit with my bone folder. But here I am, and I did make a card out of the scalloped rectangle. I folded the craft cardstock and I went ahead and ran it through right before the edge of the die. And what I did was then cut out a full die of die cut of the largest rectangle piece so I can make the base of it. And I'm just layering it since it has the same shape with the little scallops are so freaking cute with the little um the little dot marks and then time to put on the main layer which is the center which is the black part and i wanted it to look like i said like a little chalkboard but here i am just adding the second paper to the inside and yeah i had to make another one because i boo booted it up but thank you guys for watching i hope this was helpful of this race inspirational and checks easy designs blog and subscribe to my blog post and I will see you guys soon. Check out my affiliates and please check out the CC Design Store. Super, super awesome. Super cute stuff that was released today. You guys will not be disappointed. Oh my gosh, there's so many cute stamp sets and look forward to some more stuff. Here I am just adding another one on the inside just to show you guys. But thank you guys for stopping by and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye everyone.